Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today I have LED floodlights. They are 5,000 Kelvin, so they're white, 30 watts a piece. They operate between 100 volts and 277 volts. So you could do both. This is the light itself. These are flood, not spot. So that'll flood the area with light. So I have a perfect spot for this. These will not turn on during the day. So, which is actually a really cool feature. So if you accidentally left the lights on, um, so you left the light switch on, they will go off in the daytime automatically. So they are dusk only, which is awesome. There's a screw here to adjust. The, you got like little um, click point points, little like uh, gear points of where this can go. Then you can tighten them up. Comes with the nut for the uh, electrical box plate. If you already have it, the box plate, because it doesn't come with it. It comes with three wire nuts. We're going to do the installation of this. So I got two of them. So I have a light that I'm replacing. I told the uh, my sponsor that I have a perfect spot for these to send two of them, and I can position these, you know, on that light. We we'll do an installation. It's going to be really straightforward. It's three wires, big deal, you know, hot neutral ground, real simple. I'm going to install these bad boys and see how well they work at night, and it should be really interesting because I'm looking forward to see how well they work because they are 30 watts a piece. So I do have power here. I'm just going to use, and they will not go on. Hey Google, turn off the studio. Okay, turning off studio. Hey Google, turn off basement light. There we go. Okay. It automatically went on by itself. So as you can see, it proves that it goes on at dusk, uh, off at dawn, just in case you forget to turn the lights off. So these are great for that purpose. If you have a barn or if you have something that needs light all the time, you can just leave the switch on and they will go on and off automatically during the day. I do not believe they are dimmable. We will find out because I do have these lights on a dimmer. So we could definitely test to find out if they're dim, dimmable or not. Hey Google, turn on the studio. And see the shut off. So, because you can clearly see the LEDs on them, and it, they did get substantially warm. There is a behemoth size uh, heat sink on this thing. So, if this thing produces any type of heat. It's got plenty of aluminum to suck the heat right off of it. So, I foresee this being uh, a really nice uh, option. Looks like you can also get lenses for these. There are screw holes in the top here where they can actually probably click on and put some sort of a protective shield on them so you don't want to accidentally touch. Because it looks like the same typical halogen um, enclosure, but they are LED in them. All right, so let's go check out the installation. This should be fun. So I should unscrew these, get them out of the way. Now power is already turned off on this. much better. It should be able to handle the hanging of it. I want to make sure that I'm not getting electrocuted here. I did shut it off, but you never know. Okay. Okay, the lights are connected. Now we're going to screw it back together again. Don't worry the position of the lights. And they do not. So we'll have to wait for dusk. Alrighty. Let's go check out the light output. Uh, these lights are amazing. They light up the whole backyard. Well, at least this area here. 
they are dimmable there they are there are those two lights they are freaking bright as hell holy crap but yes the lighting up the entire backyard I could spin it that way and then one that way it's just it's crazy <laughs> and they are dimmable so let me show you let me see if I can keep the camera outside as I dim it down So that's dimmed down all the way, and that is off, and that is on. It's crazy. I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed with the uh, light output on this thing. Let me go to the back of the property. So you could see from this angle, <laughs> that's crazy so you can see how much it's actually doing 30 watts a piece so 60 watts of LED light coming kind of impressed very impressed with those lights I wasn't expecting them to be all that powerful these bad boys those lights are really really good um, at 30 watts a piece as you saw the amount of light output that it actually gave um, if you, just to give you an example, they were 230 watts. They do make 50 watt versions of that. So you might want to think about if you like the output of what it is, you might want to do 150 watt light. It's going to be 10 watts less than what you saw, but it's only one. If you only have an ability to do one, um, depending on, you know, you might have like a high ranch or, or a double level, like um, colonial or something like that with the top floor. You might have two capability of putting two lights to shine out in the backyard. You might want to do two fifties, one on each side of the house. Just a recommendation. I'm, I'm in awe. I'm actually very impressed with, um, with this light, with these lights, actually. There's two, pa I got two of them. But uh, I'm, I, I don't have much more to say. I'm just impressed with how bright it was. The only thing that I did notice is that it did, it was a huge bug magnet. I mean, like, big time. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Where my light is is obviously a bad location because it's right by the door. Um, I mean, it was really pronounced. I, I was shocked to see how many, and I only had it on for a short amount of time, short period of time, and so many insects were attracted to that particular light. Um, if the company is listening and they, wa and they watch this video, they might want to consider creating a bug zapper <laughs> and using those LEDs to attract them, because I was impressed on how quick it attracted them. So put a bunch of those LEDs in a, in a, in a bug zapping frame, and then you got yourself... I mean, supposedly black light attracts them, but apparently, according to this light here, I, I was like, "Holy crap!" I couldn't believe how many. I mean, it would the machine would be going crazy and and destroying all those insects that are being you know being havoc to your livelihood. That would work. Um, just a suggestion. I'm just saying. You know, perhaps I could modify my own bug zapper and build that and put that inside of it and. It'll turn into a, a, a bug zapping beast for sure. But uh, anyway, um, if you guys like this video, please smack that like button. The more people that slack that uh, smack the like button goes in the algorithm and more people will be able to watch these videos. Um, it would be greatly appreciated if you could do that. You could also join. I do have a Discord server um, and a Patreon account. So uh, the more the merrier, obviously. It would be greatly appreciated. And I would um, acknowledge your patronism on this channel. Anyway, take care and we'll see you next time.